So one thing that I always pop up, pops up when teams talk to me is that they're saying, you know, I'm, we're a high school, we're trying to do speed training, but we're just going to have everyone do the same thing. And while I understand that, if we look at these different positions, they're very different demands as far as what they're doing for a game. So for a wide receiver, we need to have probably a pretty high velocity. All right, so we have to be able to run some longer routes, good deceleration ability, but higher velocity. All right? Their acceleration needs to be pretty good too, but probably pretty even. All right? Now if you look at a running back, they have to have pretty even velocity, but a very, very, very good excel. Very, very, very good excel. They have to be able to get to top speed in a few steps. Right? Look at a corner. A corner is probably going to be one of your faster players out there. So they need to have crazy high acceleration to break on the ball, but also crazy high velocity just in case the ball gets thrown over top or they have to catch a player. Right? So already we have three different prototypes. Then I look at D-line. Okay, D-line has to have crazy excel, but velocity is probably not going to be very good. O-line is probably not going to have too many of these qualities. It's probably going to be average at both. So for O-line, this might just be more of a stimulus type thing. So if I look at these types of players and I try to mailbox them, it's going to be very hard because they're very different athletes that have very different demands in their game. So our wide receivers in practice are going to be able to get a pretty good stimulus at velocity and a pretty good stimulus at acceleration. So we know once we profile, it's better to look at this group as a whole and then do a percentage of the average for that player for against, against the rest of the group. So for example, I have player A, okay? Then I have the average of the team. I minus that and I see, okay, player A is 13% away from the team average. Although he might be better than every guy in this group, within his context of his position, he's negative 13%. And we need him to rise up to get to, that, to get to that upper level. So when I look at each position, I'm looking at what are the goals for each position across the board, and how do I influence that to get them above their team average, at least by 10%. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video.